Oh, hey. Welcome to another edition of Socrates Explains Everything. My name is Socrates. I like to explain things. We're here uh, in the middle of April on a unfortunate day because it's now uh, the day we crossed three million coronavirus cases in the world. And also one million of those cases are in the United States. It's uh, not a good day. But it's a day, so I thought we should talk about it. Uh, just to recap, it was on April 3rd that the first million cases around the world was detected. And uh, it was growing, uh, took four months to get that first million from the first case. And at that point, it was growing at 10% a day. Uh, the growth rate because there was a uh, hundred thousand new cases that day when there was a million and uh, now on the April 15th uh, we crossed two million cases and that only took 12 days it took 40 days or four sorry four months for the first million cases 120 days or so and uh, 12 days for the second million now the third million took 13 days and that's kind of good because it shows that we've broken the clean exponential growth of this virus because this thing grows at 10 or more percent a day as the number of cases from the previous day and that's an escalating exponential uh, of, of vicious curve. Now we grew at 70,000 cases a day on the 15th when we crossed 2 million and we're growing now at 75,000 a day at 3 million so we were growing originally at 10 percent a day at a million and then it was down to three percent a day when we crossed 2 million and now it's down to about two percent a day here at 3 million so we're on the right path but we've got a lot farther to go uh, the social distancing and generally being avoiding huge crowds and gatherings like stand-up comedy shows which is unfortunate as a stand-up comedian but we all have this burden to bear comedy ha don't ask me but now with the US uh, we're gonna look at a couple different countries we looked at most of these countries back at 2 million you can see the video down in the description uh, to the link to the previous one where you can also like and subscribe because eh, I don't know. Anyway, so now with a million cases in the United States, uh, they had 25,000 new cases just uh, just today basically, which is about a 2.5% growth rate. And uh, that's bad, but it's down from about 5% when we cross the 2 million line. So they're, they're holding it pretty much steady, which also in some ways decreases it over time. But we're really best if we can get it to going down. And many, many, many countries are getting their numbers to go down. Spain, for example, and this are basically in, in descending order of total cases. Spain has 232,000 232, cases in total, and they just had 2,500 new cases. And their numbers are, are way down, and they're down to about a 1% growth. Uh, they were about 1.5% last time. Uh, Italy, Italy is down to about 201 or 201,000 total cases and only 2,000 new cases uh, this last day which was down to actually about 0.1% um, they were at 2% but at 0.1% they've almost uh, gotten rid of the, the virus of course 2,000 new cases is still a lot Woo. but as a percentage wise they've actually pretty much gotten rid of the virus uh, now of course compare that to the UK which actually jumped up a place and they got 162,000 cases and 4,000 new ones, which is a 2.5% growth. Uh, and again, they're still fairly flat with their curve of, uh, of daily cases, but it's still down from 5%, so it's still an improvement. And Germany, with 159,000 total cases, only had, had 1,000 new cases, which is a half percent growth, which is half of the, they were 1% before. So they were good before and they're getting even better. And uh, once you're under that 1%, it's just a matter of stamping out the embers. You know, Turkey, Turkey doubled their total, total uh, cases up to 114,000 
cases and 2,000 new cases just now, which is a 2% growth. Uh, still bad, but much better than the 6% they had. So they finally dented their curve and uh, they're bringing their numbers down, which is really good. Uh, now Russia, they had a four times increase in total cases, up to 100,000 cases with 6,000 new cases. And their curve is still growing dangerously fast, but they've at least slowed it slightly. That's at 6% growth. Now it was double that, it was at 12% when we crossed uh, 2 million cases. So Russia's starting to take action and those actions are clearly starting to take effect. And that's, that's basically what you're looking at when you're looking at the statistical numbers here. Iran, which had one of the earliest bad out of control outbreaks and a total of 92,000 cases, they only have 1,000 new cases and a growing at 1%, uh, half of the 2% just a few months ago, a few weeks ago. And uh, they've done an incredible job of, of stamping down what was truly an out of control outbreak. You know, Brazil still out of control. They have three times the number of total cases with 73,000 uh, total cases and 6,000 new cases. And that's growing still at 8%, which is actually slightly higher than the 7% they were growing at before in one of the few countries that I noticed with a, an escalating uh, growth rate, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Canada with 51,000 uh, and 1,500 new cases just now they're down to a 3% growth rate, which is an improvement over the 5%. But the, uh, the Canadian system it just seems to be slowly, slowly improving. Um, in fact, well, I think the numbers went up, actually, looking at this. Here in the Netherlands, fortunately, with only 38,000 total cases, we only had 200 new cases reported uh, just, last, last, just last day, uh, which is only a 0.5% growth, half a percent much better than the 3% we were growing at two weeks ago. So that's a really good thing, especially if you happen to live in the Netherlands. In India, it's still growing quite mad in India. They're tripled their number, up to 31,000 total cases and uh, 2,000 new cases. And they grew at 6% just now. But they were growing at 9%, so at least they're in the right direction. And that's the, the important thing. Uh, Peru, which was a real frightening looking one. They also tripled the total cases to 31,000 and grew at 2,000 new cases, which is 6% growth. But when you consider last time they were growing closer to 20%, they're definitely in the right direction and hopefully in a couple weeks they can get those numbers significantly lower. And one of the interesting cases is Sweden, which has done a strange version of lockdown with 19,000 total cases and only 500 new cases. But that's still a 3% growth for the total caseload, which is uh, down from the 4% a few weeks ago. But it's still, their, their lack of lockdown, I think, is telling and extending this thing a bit longer than it needed to be done. Uh, now, you look at the two really successful cases would be South Korea, which had the same starting point as America. The U.S. and South Korea had their case, the first case on the same day. And they ended up with 10,000 total cases and a brutal early spike. But with lots of testing, they broke that number quickly. And a mere 14 new cases, which is just 0.2% growth compared to their total cases, which is still double that of Italy. So if South Korea is a win, then I think we can certainly say Italy is on the edge of being a win as well. Uh, the other one is New Zealand, which is being counted as being coronavirus free, you know, I guess. They, they only had a total of just under 1,500 cases, 1,474. It's good when the number's so low that you can do exact counting on it. And they just had three new cases. But that's still a 0.2% growth from the previous number, or you know, pre percent of the previous number. So it's not zero, that's for sure. And in some ways, uh, South Korea and, and New Zealand have double the uh, new cases compared to Italy, compared to the total caseload. So we're close to it, but we're by no means done. And I think that it's important to continue doing what we're doing and realize that this, this is a pretty bad, a pretty bad disease. Uh, my neighbor, her sister, was in the hospital for a hip injury 
and she contracted the coronavirus and she unfortunately passed away. So uh, there's a lot of people that we probably should have had around. I mean, the total, the total death around the world is 217,000 dead. You know, two weeks ago, it was 127,000. You know, this is probably in the U.S. where they're close to 60,000 dead. I can't see how it's going to come out to less than 100,000 based on the number of people that are sick and the number of people that are still getting the disease. So I think it's too early to break the lockdown. I think it's too early to bring back any more than necessary. I don't think capitalism is worth people's lives. You know, you see people who've lost loved ones and it's... Family is one of the things life's about. So I think it's time that we... Uh, we concentrate on getting this thing finished and we stay the course on this and uh, soon we'll be back to normal and I can go back to doing stand-up comedy shows. And people can go back to work, which I guess is fun. Kind of like the parks too though. So, Anyway, take care of yourselves. Want to see behind me? Here I get off the way.